Hi there, Scorpio. How are my Scorpios doing? Hopefully great. This is going to be the reading for June 1st through June 15th for Sun, Moon, and Rising in Scorpio. Um, I just want to say thank you so much for all the energy sessions and the private readings and the Instant Go contacts. I've just been so busy um, with you guys, and I'm loving bringing through messages and guidance, you know, and, and supporting you on your journey. So if you would like a personal reading, the link is below. It's going to take you to my website. Uh, with the different options available for you. I kind of have something um, for everyone, all different price points. Uh, you can find me on Instant Go, which the link is below for that. It's a really fast, easy way to send me a text message question and you'll get a response or reply back um, answer to a, a question that you have. So um, you can use the Instant Go app. Uh, also, I am a master energy therapist and I, I specialize in distance therapy. So that means it doesn't matter where you live or how far apart we are. I have clients all over the place and that's what I specialize in. So um, you can check out my website below. I do have a 15% off for first time clients, uh, which gives you the opportunity to try it out. But it's right now is a really powerful time to be having energy work done because I just feel like Everybody is going through so much like growth and change and recalibration and expansion within themselves and their life. And it's so important to stay balanced and stay aligned while we go through these transitions. So um, if you do want a session, it's really going to ground you and center you and balance you. It's going to calm your, your mind and get you more into your intuition. Um, I also go through and balance all the chakras, so you'll just be feeling really peaceful and centered, um, which will allow you to, you know, face challenges and things and circumstances in your life from a, a more place of power within. So um, go to my website, read about it. You can check out the testimonials and send me an email if you have any questions um, and take advantage of the 15% off for first time clients. So, okay, let's get into your reading. I'm so curious what the cards are going to say for you guys. Have you still kept yourself buried in work? Or are you ready to be more vulnerable when it comes to love? So um, we are building to the new moon in Gemini, which will be on June 13th. And, you know, we just had this really powerful full moon in Sagittarius. So we're, we're still feeling the energies of that for sure for the next few days. Um, but, you know, that full moon was very much about expansion, and I loved the energy of that moon. You'll have to let me know how it felt for you. Okay, Scorpio, June 1st through June 15th. Wow, okay, so we're starting with three major arcana cards. So that right off the bat is telling me that you guys have really you're going through growth and transformation which you have been all year I mean you guys have have gone through so much I, I feel like Scorpios have grown more this year than like any other sign that I've been dealing with really but um, the first card is the strength card which to me, I feel like this is very much an inner strength and you really get in touch with your intuition and your higher self and trusting the process and receiving the messages that the universe is giving you. You know, the strength part is very much, it's about receiving. You know, if you look, you know, this person is not chasing after this lion. They are receiving the messages, receiving the energy, um, they're grounded here. So I'm, I'm actually really happy, Scorpio, that this is the first card for you because with everything that, you know, you've been burying yourself in work and avoiding love and all of that, I feel like maybe you're coming back into balance. Yeah, so as I say balance, I look down. The next card is the chariot card. So the chariot is, it's confidence, it's balance, it's movement forward. So... This is really positive and you know the chariot it doesn't always move fast it can be moving slow but it's still a card of movement forward so I feel like you know again keep in touch with your higher self and your intuition 
and allow the growth to happen. So I feel like you're, you know, with these three cards, I think you have faced yourself and faced what it is that's been blocking you and what it is that, you know, keeps you avoiding love or opening up. So very, very positive because the next card we've got is the world card, which is like the completion of a karmic cycle. So, you know, hopefully what this is saying is that you are completing the cycle and what you've needed to go through and clear. Very, very powerful. Strength, Chariot, and the World card. I mean, I feel like you guys are really coming into yourselves and getting to a place of wholeness. You know, the World card is also very much a card of wholeness and being complete. Complete circle. It's fully balanced. You have two cards of balance here. So again, that's, I just, I'm loving this. Scorpio, how are you feeling? Do you feel like you're growing? You have to let me know in the comments. Let's see, what else do Scorpios need to know? June 1st. Okay, so we've got two more major arcana cards, holy moly, but here you are. Here you are, Scorpio. You guys, I love this. You're like completely reborn after the Strength Chariot and the World card. I feel like you're here. You're proud. Look, you got your flag. You're charging forward. You, you've gone through. You've gone through it. So good for you. A good job. I'm very proud of you for the work that you've done. And in this new space that you're in, I feel like you're just going to kind of embrace it for a bit. So I still feel like you may just keep, keep a little bit of a time out. You know, get into this new energy that you're in. Get into this new phase of life that you're moving into. There's really no rush. There's really no rush because you're moving forward. You know, the chariot is a movement forward card, the world, even the death card is, you know, it's movement forward, it's transformation, it's rebirth, recycle, it's new. So um, I think this is okay. This card, actually, I don't feel anything negative about at all. I just think, you know, you're going to take your time. You're going to take your time. But the next card we have is the emperor. So uh, this could represent like an Aries coming into you or maybe you're dealing with like a father figure or like a higher authoritative. Actually, no, I, I really feel what this is representing is you guys in a way. I feel like here you are solid. I mean, there's, there's no other major arcana that's more solid than the Emperor card. So... Yeah, I feel like, you know, you're going through your growth, your rebirth, and it, you're taking your time out to really get to this place. So the only thing I feel I need to say is make sure you don't get too far away from your emotions if, if you are showing up as the emperor. I mean, the emperor, like, builds empires. So he is a long-term thinker. He is committed. Nothing gets in the way or stops the emperor. So... Again, I feel like what you guys have been going through is bringing you to a place where you're going to be unstoppable. You're going to be unstoppable because once you clear the karma and, you know, the past pain and the stuff that's kept you kind of separated from love, once you get here, you are going to be unstoppable. So this is really, I'm loving this reading. So let's see what happens next for you guys. Scorpio, June. Okay, so we've got the Queen of Wands. So I feel like maybe this is the partner that you've been dealing with, or this could be somebody new coming in for you. So it's going to be someone who's passionate, 
Um, they're really good at receiving and the, you know, it could be a fire sign with the wands or someone with a lot of fire in their chart. So um, with you as the emperor, you know, in your power and your strength, you would be able to handle the energy of a queen of wands coming in for you. So, um, or again, this may be the person that you've still been dealing with all this time that has been so patient and understanding of you going through everything that you've needed to go through. So, and then I've also got, <coughs> excuse me. All right, big messages coming through for you. <laughs> Um, we've also got the justice card. So this is, you could be dealing with a Libra. So um, maybe it's a Libra that you've been dealing with in these last few readings that has been so patient and understanding for you. But again, it's another major arcana card. It's another card of balance. And it's another, it's a card of like laying down the law and movement forward. So it could be that this Libra very much has the energy of the Queen of Wands as well. So I feel like this could be the same person. And um, I think they're going to be quite firm with you in what they need and what they want. And, you know, the Justice card kind of, um, yeah, it, it's about like boundaries. And I think will hold you to a higher place. And I don't think they would really let you get away with any of these like wishy-washy, hot and cold in and out games. So, but again, I feel like, I think you're growing out of that hot and cold, wishy-washy, like in and out. I think you're ready to really be in your power and bring yourself wholeheartedly forward. So if you're a Libra or Queen of Wands, I feel like this should be the most exciting reading I've done for Scorpios in a while now because, you know, this is, the energies are shifting and they're definitely moving forward. Um, and I feel like the relationship is going to be very, very generous. So again, another card of balance. We've got the scales here. And the Six of Coins is it's totally about generosity. So I do feel like this love and this relationship that you're in or have been dealing with, it's going to be really full of generosity on both parts. Generous in emotions, generous in money, generous in time. I just think you're really going to want to give each other, give to each other. Which if you look at this, I mean, how powerful does this couple look right here? I mean, they do look like they could build an empire together, right? So again, if it's not a Libra, then it, it, it's somebody with this energy, this strong um, air energy. I do see a sword on there. So again, it could be an air sign or a fire sign or someone with a lot <clears throat> of air and fire in their chart. So very beautiful. One, two, three, four, five, six major arcana cards, Scorpio. So you are going through it. Good job. I'm so proud of you. Major transformation happening. I'm just going to see if there's any last message for you. Scorpio. Okay. So the final card that we have is Manifestation, which is beautiful because I feel like you guys really are at the point where you could create anything that you want. It's like you've gone through the cycles. You're letting it all go. What is it that you want? What kind of love, partnership, empire do you want to build? I really feel that it's possible right now and you're fully capable of it. So... Great reading, Scorpios. You'll have to leave comments for me. I love reading all your comments. I'm not able to respond to all of them, but I do read them all, and I really appreciate them. So um, if this didn't resonate with you, you can watch your moon sign or your rising sign, and uh, you can also book a personal reading if you want to go deeper into your specific situation. So the link is below. Again, it's going to take you to my website um, for the different options for a, a personal reading for you, okay? So I think that's it for now, Scorpios. I will see you for your readings for the second half of June. Bye.